Hello, and welcome to your daily magic. I am your hostess with the mostess, Lilu. Today, your daily magic is destroying yourself in order to achieve happiness. Working title. So, sometimes, sometimes you don't get what you want. Sometimes you get angry, and sometimes you have to work really hard towards things. Those things that you have to work hard towards destroy you. They kill you. They slowly tear down what you are, and you lose yourself in the madness that isn't even your madness. If you got rid of capitalism, if you got rid of money, if you got rid of everything and it was just you and your house and people, you'd realize there was no need for anything. The only important thing from there on is the people you've met, the people that have known you since the beginning. Why is it that those people are important? You may ask yourself, and you may ponder, and you may think, because they're important to me. But that's not what it is. It's because they let you know who you are. There's a hair on my screen. They let you know who you are. They've known who you are, and they've seen where you came from. But they're an illusion. They're all fake, just like me. Those people know nothing about you. They don't care about you because they aren't you. Only you can care for yourself. Only you can help yourself. Only you can make yourself happy by realizing that you care about the wrong things. So the reason you value the people that you think you have to take care of them, that you think that you have to be part of them is because you forgot who you are. And who you are used to be a person. And who you are used to be a child. And who you are used to be a baby. And who you are before that used to be your parents. You have to go to what you are before all of that. You have to realize that you used to be nothing. That you used to be part of the emptiness of the world. Maybe that little spot right there in the clouds was you. Or in a little electron going through the wires. That was you. Remember what it's like to be nothing. Remember what it's like to have no choice. To be a cell on a feather, on a bird's back. Remember that you weren't able to express yourself. You weren't able to give. You just did what you did because you had to. There is a chance that this world it's just a world within a world, or a video game or a dream. And one day you'll wake up, let the car go by. One day you'll wake from this, and you'll realize that all of it was fake, that none of it mattered. And the only thing that did matter were the things that you let yourself think mattered. And people force their opinions on you to try to make you think that things matter. And they may be trying to help you. And they may help you. But it's still in the end is what you choose to do. If in the, if in the end this is a game and I am the only real one 
And this whole world is fake. And that's what it was. There is also a chance that you, that you're watching, you're the only person in the world that's real. And everything in the world is fake. So why not have fun? Why not do what you want to do? Because one day you'll be 20. One day you'll be 30. One day you'll be 40. One day you'll be 60, 80, 100, 200. Who knows how long you live. And you'll always regret not trying to follow your happiness. Follow your happiness and be happy. And realize that we can all awake one day from this bizarre machine. And there may be only five people standing next to you. All of those people were in the machine. And out of all of these people, maybe only five people were playing the game. Maybe all of these people were computer programs. Or maybe we are all computer programs made to believe that we feel. And there's no escape. Maybe we're ones and zeros. And we just return. Now what happens when we return and we know what we were? We realize everything we did was pointless. What happens when we realize that we wasted our time praising God, watching TV, chasing someone that we didn't love. Contemplate on your death. Meditate on your death. Enjoy the fact that you will die and that all of this will be done and gone. Do part one of suicide and just enjoy the silence. People don't think about their death enough. They think about living. They don't have that fear anymore. You have to have that fear. You have to know that this is all pointless. You have to make it have a point. You have to create a game within the game. Or else you'll slip between the lines and then the unobservable grid state. You will lose yourself in the madness of what everyone considers to be reality. Don't fall prey to the synchronicities of other people. Don't worry if whatever happens, happens. But just do what you have to. Do anything you have to do to win. Cheat. Steal, hurt, destroy. Because you have to find out who you are. Because for some reason, you were given something. You were given pretty eyes, a nice smile, a beautiful voice, great hair, a good job. A nice family, money, um, the abilities to sew, a great cook, musician, artist, an actress, an actor, great at math. Whatever it is that you do, do it as much as possible. Because you're attractive, people say you have to work hard. Use your attractiveness. Because there are people that don't have those things. I have dandruff. There are people that have dandruff. But there are people that have advantages. 
and they don't use them because society frowns upon it because society is based on a bunch of people that don't have advantages and they lie when people don't have advantages they lie to the people that have outstanding advantages when people do not fight synchronicity they let synchronicity come into their lives and they use it against people they shame people out of creating art out of, out of destroying themselves to be the best them they don't destroy themselves they destroy others so destroy yourself constantly daily, weekly push yourself through what is destruction to create who you are do anything you can do to win because they do because they lie to shut you up because you're smart because you're beautiful and, and beauty isn't isn't something that people see when you're a child you see beautiful people but as you get older you realize people people judge beauty differently from what what you perceive as beautiful because what you see as beautiful is just your genetic eyes attracting to whatever your magnet eye personality thing is but when when you start being around other people they sway your opinions to to be lenient to the people that are considered attractive that is isn't inevitable that is something that you cannot fight like my prescription glasses help me see They let me observe what everyone else observes, and I can go around without them all the time. I don't have to see what they see, but I see it. You will find beauty in what people have told you beauty is, and that's okay. People will tell you what not to do because they would if they had the chance to do that. A man who is shy and gloopy and incapable of being attractive or being cool will use any method to get a woman. They will be funny. They will be smart. They will buy everything. They will get drugs. They will get the best jobs possible just to get what they want. And they don't tell you that. And people want that. People want those things. And that's them taking advantage of what they want. It is a equal balance thing that works out. People are afraid because they are afraid to destroy themselves in order to get what they want. crow out there. Hi, crow. You have to know what you're capable of. Allow people to destroy you. Allow yourself to be destroyed to be the perfect you. If you don't hurt, you're not doing it right. If you want to not feel pain, wait till you're gone from this world. It's not time for you to not feel pain. Pain is what makes us alive. Pain is what makes us feel. If you don't have pain, you don't learn. You're nothing. You aren't important. Nor will you ever be. Because when you leave, you will be gone. You are what you are now. Be happy with that. Be happy with who you are and who you're trying to be. Destroy your ego, destroy your id, destroy who you are to become what you should be. Happiness. I love you all.